Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snup and today I'm going to show you how to set up and run a IP camera on the Weather Underground site. Now as far as what you need, you could use a record web camera but you need software, an active computer running and we're not going for that. You need a IP camera and more particularly your IP camera needs the ability to send images to a FTP server. This is very important because and, and pretty much all IP cameras should be able to do this but I'm not going to say all of them because I'm pretty sure there's one or two out there that can't. But it's, it's very important because if your IP camera cannot send images then you can't really do it. Uh, since Weather on the Ground doesn't really do streaming, they do images. Now, the obvious, you need the actual camera itself. You need to have internet access. The camera needs to be connected to internet access. And for right now, you need a computer. You can borrow a computer, but you need a computer for the setup, and that's it. Or you can use a phone or tablet. Now, as far as this goes, you also need a login for the site. I'll leave a link below and it'll take you to your basically asking you if you want to register your camera, if you want to sign in, and it'll take you to this page. Now, if you don't have a login, then make one and it'll take you here. Now, as far as things go, what you want to do is go to the FTP do not do the links. The links is it's more for events, and you're not going to get a. If if you choose a link, basically what's going to happen is it will pull the links off of a website. However, what's going to happen at the same time is the website needs to give permissions to Weather Underground. The website has to be set up properly. Plus, on top of that, the um, it's going to take longer, as it says here. It, it doesn't pull it off as often because the weather on the ground the, you, you don't have to pay for anything for this but it does cost them money to do this to do any of this it does cost them money um, as you may imagine for a server for the electricity to connect to the internet for internet usage and so on it does cost them money so that's one reason why they're not doing streaming and two that's the reason why the links actually take a little bit more than a minute so you want to do I want FTP now for this you want to set up a neighbor if you're if you're in a business you can set up a neighbor in organization I suggest to do that if you're doing a business but if you're not leave a blank if you want you need to set up your time zone for your camera your address and for this, I'm just going to put a for all these, but city, state, country, and um, for the location, you don't worry about the map right now. Just put in the uh, zip code and um, do find location, and the map will actually go to the location. You can move around, and one thing I suggest is if you are. Um, a, you know private individual if you're not a business then have the site slightly off the address slightly off that way you don't have a creep coming up and and messing with you one way or another because there is a lot of bad people out there but if you're not worried about that then do whatever so save and continue and if you have a personal weather station then you can end up using it. If you don't, then you obviously can't. If you got a website, go ahead and do the link text um, and just name the site so tech reviews and help and then put in the site stuff. So make sure that it's HTTPS or HTTP and that way you can get people connected to your site if it's a secure site or not and uh, put in the site and then put the camera type I suggest if unless if you know the exact model and whatnot I suggest doing a IP or putting webcam so you have that after you have that all done you'll get a camera ID 
this is very important just basically highlight it copy it and go to your camera on your own IP system now I done a video tutorial on how to set up a IP camera on a home or business network and this is one of the advantages to have an IP camera and um, you can go through that if you don't already have your setup but basically this is this is a continuation on that now what you need to do is go on your camera it might be a separate area as far as your software on your camera you need to go down to the FTP service settings or wherever and whatever it says that's very important put in the following I'll have this in the description as far as the FTP server the port number is 21 the uh, at least that's what what mine is as far as what worked for me put in this into the server or it should say server host or something like that put this into the FTP port the 21 put in your camera ID just paste it in here your camera ID needs to be for the user your actual password for the weather underground what, what you use to log into password wise this is the password for that and the intervals um, I I would suggest putting in like a second or so and that way you get a picture and um, what happens is every six, 60 seconds the they try to find a picture and between that if a uh, say for example you, you set up for five minutes and like first on a picture every minute if a picture didn't come in it will continuously look for it until one comes in and then you you know your stuff shows up so say for example if you're if you got a really bad or or limited internet you can put yours for like say 15 minutes and um, that way they're constantly looking for that picture all the way up to 24 hours and then once your picture comes in and it'll be updated and it'll wait again for another 24 hours after I think a minute may I think it's yeah it's a minute but if you set your stuff up for one second or less than 60 seconds, what happens is your um, the, the thing will just delete any incoming pictures for that time. So that, that's how that works. Now, if you don't want your camera showing up anymore, just change any of this. And, um, and if they don't detect something from, from you for 24 hours, then they take your off your camera altogether. Again, they pay for all this, so you don't have to pay for any of it. Um, they, don't, they ain't giving you any money, but they're paying for the electricity, the upkeep, and server costs, and whatnot. So that's why they give you a 24-hour wait period before they kill your camera, at least your access to your camera. It's very easy to set it back up in case. Now, how do you know if it's working? Well, you'll see active and it'll say yes. And to test it out, just click on the camera ID, give it a second or two, and here we go. Um, this is just a test, I'm still setting it up. But um, there you go, it'll say your username and then it'll show the picture, your location, the temperature and and whatnot if you got a the thing hooked up to an actual weather station then it'll actually show you more information and whatnot so it's actually pretty neat but anyways this has been Craig Bennett the founder and owner of Tech Views Now if you got any questions or whatnot feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer you as quickly as possible also if you want to keep your questions anonymous then please feel free to leave me an email on techfusionup.com and my email is under contact us. Also, you can email me on YouTube and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Now, if your question does validate a video, I might give you a shout out. Obviously, if you're emailing me, to give me a heads up if you're okay or not. And um, if you don't give me a heads up, I'm assuming that you want to be anonymous, so I'll just leave it at that. But if you comment below and if I answer the question with a video or take the suggestion, given that you give a suggestion, 
and is valid enough for a video, I'll give you a shout out and that way it'll help you out since you helped me out with that question or whatnot. Now, as far as things goes, if this video has helped you and you were able to get your stuff working or not, then please like, please subscribe, and please share. And please visit techrefusionhelp.com. And hope you have a great day.